Hey guys, sorry for not posting for a long long time but in this video I'm going to tell you about why I think the Fed is going to increase the interest rates two more times within this year. So many people that requires customers to earn money when their things are not like a must to buy example their things are not oiled for example and their things are not like wholesaling selling food then they will have problem trying to survive out there because if you think about it more and more people are not buying things because of the interest rates right but the worst part about this is that the people in the US is starting to adapt to high prices and because it's adapting to high prices it also caused inflation to not come down and since inflation is not coming down the Fed has to increase the interest rates even even further and by increasing interest rates that would be even more horrible for us and now I'm going to move on to my first point why I think the Fed is going to increase the interest rates for two more times by the end of this year is because their targeted um, interest rates percentage by the end of this year is 5.6% so just to put it out right to you the interest rates right now is 5.25% so basically they already tell you they will increase the interest rates and based on all the times that the Fed has ever increased the interest rates they have not gone lower than 25 basis points or 0.25% percent and because they have not and I don't see how they could add up from 5.25 to 5.6 evenly I would say that they plan on increasing 0.25 but increasing 0.25 will clearly get them to 5.5 but not 5.75 right that's why I think they'll increase two times to 5.75 which I'm going to elaborate on why they increased that much later. Well, well, up to this point, some of you might already want to ask why would they want to increase two times instead of increasing one time? Why increase 0 0.25 by 0 0.25 instead of increasing just 0 0.5? Why not just increase 50 basis points and get it over with? Well, the answer is actually pretty simple because you wouldn't want to die and the Fed wouldn't want you to die. Die meaning that you cannot sustain uh, the prices and you cannot sustain the amount of money that you have to pay when you borrow money. So by increasing it by 25 basis point, it gives you some space to adapt to the situation, but yet still struggle so you don't spend as much for inflation to come down. Anyways, moving on, point two. Well, to further explain my point, I'm just going to quote what Jerome Paul said in one of his newest interviews where he said that we are far, far from getting to our targeted inflation because the targeted inflation percentage is at 2% and the current inflation situation is at 4.75%. And it actually took them about six months to get here from 5.5% since January. So if you were to do a bit of math, you realize that if the Fed wants to pivot by the midterm of next year, they would have to reach 3.5% um, inflation by the end of this year. And based on the past six months that we have experienced, which the inflation rate is at 5.25 percent currently the inflation has only barely come down about by 75 basis points and it's just 75 basis points the inflation right now is 4.75 percent if the same thing happened um in the next six months it will end up at four percent i mean four percent is still the double amount of 2% and 4 is not enough because they want 3.5 how and why do I say 3.5 where do I get this number I get this number because if the Fed wants to pivot by the by the midterm of next year then 
from now the time span should be around one year right one year time span and the current amount of inflation right now is 4.75 percent let's say it's five okay so the minimum amount they have to do is 3.5 percent by the end of this year if not next year they will not be able to achieve two percent inflation and because of this they would be forced to increase the interest rates even further to pressure the economy because clearly people are starting to adapt right i mean if you get hit by something like a hundred times already you would clearly start to adapt to the pain so people are starting to adapt to the pain and the fed has to increase the strength of the pain to a point where you don't die but yet you feel painful because if you feel painful inflation can come down and now moving on to point three i mean some of you could debate that i'm kind of stingy on this kind of things but i will say that jerome paul he did slip his mouth okay he said that this time was a skip so there was a guy that asked him a question when he was doing his talk asking about why was it a how does he know it was a good idea to take a pause on increasing interest rates this time in the fed meeting well when he answered he he sort of say something like it was a skip it's more like a skip but then he said he quickly corrected himself by saying well i shouldn't say it was a skip so he's he said that it was a skip and the difference between a pause and a skip is that pause is like there might be a highly unlikely chance that they will ever increase it again but a skip is basically saying well i'm missing this time i'm doing it at the next one so yeah i think that he actually accidentally said what he intend to do and by the next meeting they're going to increase interest rates even though you know the job is supposed to analyze the the problem right before the meeting and then discuss about the meeting and then decide i think i mean even from a far out it is pretty clear that he has to increase the interest rates if not they won't reach their target two percent inflation by next year so in conclusion i think the fed is going to increase the interest rates by the next meeting and i think you should get ready for it since there's actually no bad things that could come to you if you get ready for higher interest rates anyways that will be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you find valuable information inside it. If you did, like and subscribe. Ring the notification bell below. Comment down your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.